before I introduce myself, I would like to pay my respect to our teachers and good morning to all my beloved classmates. My name is Kim Eng Khan. I study in the Innovate uh, from Fred Eng High School. And today I'm here to, talk, to present the topic that is called the Adjective Places in Phnom Penh. You know Phnom Penh is the capital and the most populated city of Cambodia. It has been the nation's capital since the Frank protectorate in Cambodia and also become a nation's economic industrial and cultural center. There are 14 districts and the total area of Phnom Penh is 679 square kilometers. The governor of Phnom Penh is Mr. Phum Sen. Phnom Penh is a home to more than 2 million people, approximately 14% 14, 14 of Cambodian's population. They are uh, the effective places in Phnom Penh. So today I will show you some of them. The first one is Independent Monument. The tower was created up here in 1958 to celebrate the Cambodia's freedom from French colony. The monument was designed by Mr. Van Mulliman, who is the famous architect in, in that, at that time. The second one is uh, the National Museum of Cambodia. You can see the collection of Cambodia, cultural history, architectures, vegetables, and priceless things. The third is the uh, Eight Genocide Center. It's a killing field has become a place to remind the victims who were killed cruelly during the Khmer Rouge regime. And one more is Wat Nung. It's a place to pray for happiness, healthy, and good luck. People usually gather and enjoy the view of green grass and the big club. And the others is the Royal Palace. The Royal Palace is a place for, for the Royal Family, and the visitor can see such and valuable things such as gold, silver, and priceless statues. And the last but not least is Wood Lane Genocide Center. It's one of the high schools which has been used as a place to detect and steal many people during the Khmerus region. So uh, this is the end of my presentation. If you have any question, you can ask me. I will answer if I can. Thank you for listening.